hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about applying to college as a computer science major and how to get into some of the top programs um i know that's like really relevant right now because everybody's trying to apply to college as a cs major um just because like the job prospects after graduation are so high and <clears throat> it's a really great field to be in right now so Basically, I am going to break down my application to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, um, which I applied to last year and was accepted as a CS major. Okay, so just for reference, um, UIUC is ranked number five by US News um, in terms of like top computer science programs in the US, and <clears throat> their acceptance rate is around like 6.7% or something like that. So it is relatively competitive, um, and I'm just going to go through the things that I made sure to include and emphasize on my application um, and things that maybe you should be cognizant of if you do want to apply to, to college as a computer science major. So anyways, without further ado, let's move on to the video. Okay, so to start off, I just wanted to talk about grades and test scores. Um, I think when you're applying to college as any sort of STEM major, but especially CS, it's really important that you can show that um, you're like academically incapable in that way because those majors tend to be very rigorous. Um, and so I think my grades and test scores were probably a big part of why I was admitted. And so in terms of like the courses that I took, um, I took for computer science classes but I did go to like a STEM high school that had a lot more course offerings than like most high schools would. If you do go to a normal high school that has like normal AP course offerings I would definitely recommend taking um, whatever AP courses they offer whether that's like AP computer science principles or AP computer science Java. Um, definitely that second one carries more weight as I've gotten into college. I realized my AP computer science principles credit from freshman year um, doesn't even count for anything at all because I am an, a CS major and that's such an introductory course that it like does nothing for me. So um, definitely focus on that second one if you um, have the opportunity to take that course. Um, the courses that I took were a little bit different because I switched high schools after freshman year and we didn't have AP classes so anyways I would just recommend taking at least a few computer science courses you don't have to take all the ones that your school offers I certainly didn't um, but just take a couple just to show that you are genuinely interested and you have some background knowledge and so in terms of grades um, my school did not calculate GPA but I did have straight A's except for one B plus that was in like a higher level math course and so even for my CS classes, all of those grades were A's. I had one A minus. So yeah, I mean, as high of a GPA as you can possibly get is really what you should shoot for. Again, like if you're trying to shoot for those like top schools as a STEM major or as a CS major. My SAT score, I've definitely mentioned on this channel before, but just once again, um, I had a 780 in math and a 770 in like the English reading whatever it is so I had a 1550 um which I think is a it's a pretty decent score if you can try to shoot for like above a 1500 you can probably definitely be considered um by top CS program okay so I structured my activities list when I was applying to UAUC very differently than I structured my activities list for other schools and that was mainly because I really wanted to emphasize um, all of the things that I did that were related to CS on my application, even if they weren't my most impressive accomplishments. So the first two things that I listed um, were attending the Wolfram High School Summer Camp and the Wolfram Emerging Leaders Program. And so if you don't know, um, Wolfram Research, which is like the company that creates created like Mathematica um, and like Wolfram language. Um, they have a lot of outreach programs um, for like all different age groups and they specifically have this summer camp. I think it's now called the Wolfram Summer Research Program but when I did it it was the Wolfram High School Summer Camp and basically um, <clears throat> you learn Wolfram language, you're taught Wolfram language by like instructors from around the world um, and you get to interact with Stephen Wolfram. He like handpicks a project for you based on your interests. Um, and then you get to complete um, a really like complex project using Wolfram language and then you write about it in a computational essay and then it gets published to their website. And so 
it's a really like intensive experience my year it was completely online but i remember being on zoom from like 8 a.m to like 5 p.m sometimes and it was like every single day for three weeks so it was a lot but you learn so much um and like the projects that you do like they're not just like the little projects you do for like your cs class at school like they're really in-depth and complex and some people even end up like presenting them at research conferences or submitting them for like publication or things like that because they're like really really cool i put that as my first activity and then from the people who go to the wolfram high school summer camp they select about like 20 kids um to go to this other program that's called the wolfram emerging leaders program um, and so if you were like a top graduate from the Wolfram High School summer camp, you can be chosen for this other program. And then this one is like completely um, online. I mean, my summer camp was also online because of COVID, but the Wolfram Emerging Leaders program is always online. Um, I'm pretty sure. And that's just basically where like you're put in a group of, with a group of people um, and you all, you work on another project just, but you do this one for six months. So it's usually a lot more in depth. Those two things were um, what I really highlighted in my application, both in my activity section and in my essays. And I would really strongly recommend that if you are interested in applying to college as a CS major that you check out these two programs. Um, I think they definitely helped me a lot um, in terms of like when I was applying to college, getting accepted to schools as a CS major. Um, and I also just like learned a lot from them. So after that, I really just tried to put my other like STEM related activities. So I put like the research that I did at a research lab um, and just other things that I did. I gave a TEDx talk that was about like women in STEM and women in CS. And so I just tried to highlight anything that I did that was like STEM slash CS adjacent. Um, and then everything else that was like unrelated was more at the bottom. <laughs> So for awards, I won't list all of them because I did already go through all my awards in my How I Got Into Northwestern video, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. <clears throat> but the first award that I listed on my UAUC application was winning the Congressional App Challenge. Um, I applied to that competition when I was a junior in high school, and I would really, really strongly recommend looking into this if you're interested in um, applying to college as a CS major because I think it looks great on a resume. If you win, you get to like meet your congressperson um, and like you get to present um, on like Capitol Hill. Um, I never got to because it was COVID year, but it is really cool. Um, and I think it looks great on a resume and I don't think it's that competitive. Um, I actually have no data to back this up, but it really just depends on what district you're in because you're competing against kids in your district. It's basically like you create an app, like any app um, that you know, you're know you interested in or passionate about. I created an app that would help reduce period poverty in my like local community. Um, and so you create an app, um, it can be anything, and you submit it and then your like um, congressional office picks a winner for your district. And so if you live in a district that like maybe doesn't have a lot of people that like know about the competition or applying to the competition, like I don't know if you live in like Wyoming or something, no shade to anybody who lives in Wyoming, but like I've never met anybody who lives in Wyoming. So if you live in Wyoming, you could apply this competition and it probably won't even like be that competitive. And so um, it's a little life hack for you there. But um, I think that it's a great opportunity to basically do a project on anything that you're interested in CS um, and potentially get this really cool award. Um, and I think it definitely helped me get into UAUC um, and other colleges potentially as well. Okay, so the other award that I wanted to discuss was the NCWIT Aspirations in Computing Award. Um, I think NCWIT is like National Center for Women in Technology or something, but don't quote me on that. Um, and they have an awards cycle every year that's in like November, I think, or maybe December. Um, but you basically, you need one endorser, which is basically somebody that can speak to your interest or like capabilities in computer science. It's like a college rec, but it's a rec for the award. For the award. So you need one endorser and then you need to answer a few application questions, but that's really it. And then you get considered for um, a few different awards. Um, I mean, you, you only get one, but there's a lot of different levels of awards that they give out. So they give out awards on the national level and they give out 
um, honorable mentions on the national level and then they give out like awards and honorable mentions at the local level too I believe um, and so I ended up winning the award at the local level and so I think that also um, helped with my application and helped like show that I had like demonstrated interest and aptitude um, in like computing and technology and all of that um, and it's like a really simple thing to do and so I would definitely recommend checking that out as well Okay, so that was all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Ooh, I actually would be so down to read my essays for um, UAUCCS. So if you guys are interested in hearing those, um, let me know and maybe I will do that in the next video. So anyways, thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you could please subscribe, it would mean so, so much to me. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers in a year. And so if you could help me reach that goal, I would appreciate it so much, like truly from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.